guys and welcome to my channel here on abby the witch we do witchy and alternative things if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning and thank you for your support it means the world to me and if you are new here hi hello it's nice to meet you thank you for joining us today and welcome so here today on abby the witch we were going to do kind of a altar space workspace type of tour um, the purpose of me doing this is well for my um for my satiate my own curiosity honestly um, i'm hoping you guys will comment down below and say if um, how you work your altar differently or how your altar is set up or maybe you don't even have an altar um, i know some witches don't even have an altar so i'm just curious um, how you guys operate and also just for people out there who maybe are just starting out curious to have an altar maybe you're a witch who's never had an altar and you're kind of interested in it um, this could maybe give you some inspiration so yeah and plus it just gives you guys kind of like a behind the scenes type of type of deal too um, so yeah I really hope you guys like this type of video and I really appreciate you guys tuning in and I'll see you guys after the tour thanks guys okay guys so here is my altar do a little close-up here so I always hang things above my altar um, this is definitely I definitely still consider this part of my altar space for sure as you can see on the left hand side I have my witchy broom now I've mentioned in other um, videos before that this is just a broom that I've bought um, <laughs> so it's more just for symbolic purposes for me but I really do want to make my own witch's broom and actually utilize it to spiritually clean things um, but yeah, I still think it looks really cool on the left side of my, my altar. Here I also have a witch, sorry, there was lots of reflection on it, but um, I also have a picture of a witch naked on her broom flying through the night sky. I love her so much. Um, I don't really know how I view her. I think I just view her more as like inspiration. Like maybe who I like really am or something. <laughs> I'm not sure I like how I look at her. I just think it's like such a beautiful, inspiring um, picture of a witch for sure. Here I have my full moon. Love to incorporate that into my altar. I have my handmade wand um, that my really good friend Abby Tharp made. I can tag her down below. She makes all kinds of cool witchy things, um, including wands, handmade wands. Um, she burned, actually like wood burned these feathers into it for me. Um, but yeah, it's so beautiful and I'm obsessed. So I definitely had to incorporate that. I have some sigils here or just a sigil. <laughs> and I have a letter of gratitude to my spirit guides above my altar. And here we get down to like the actual altar, right? So right now I have it decorated for Ostera which is one of the witchy sabbats, of course. And um, I was gonna clean it up for you guys, <laughs> but honestly, I was like, no, no, because I really wanna see, or I really want you guys to see um, kind of my altar like as it is when I'm actually using it, right? I use my altar, like I said, like a lot. I'm at my altar almost every day. Um, if you guys want me to do a video of like what I actually do at my altar or like my routine, my altar, altar time routine, um, I can absolutely do that for you. But uh, yeah, so as you can see, I can, sorry, my camera went up for a second. I can briefly talk about for here for a second um, all the different things that I have on here right now and kind of what they mean. So. I consider myself partially a sea witch for sure. I like just I just like to incorporate parts of the ocean on my altar. Um, I equate that to femininity, being in touch with your emotions, being intellectually intelligent or intellect intuitively intelligent. Um, yeah, so I have a lot of ocean themed things for sure. Um, like I said, I have this decorated for Ostera right now, so that's why all the flowers are on here right now to represent that. Um, if you're not familiar with the origin of Easter eggs, they're actually pagan. <laughs> um, Ostera is a time for fertility. Eggs represent fertility. Bunnies represent fertility. So I have that incorporated on my altar. 
right for right now I always change the decorations and everything for the different Sabbaths um, I have an apple on here apples are a big deal to me they represent knowledge um, intelligence so I have an apple on my altar I also have different candles for different colors symbolizing different things I always associate black with protection money is for money green is for growth luck money um, yellow is for cheeriness happiness I associate red with passion um, white with peace uh, they can also be those colors can definitely be affiliated with the different things too if you really want them to be um, here is my book of shadows pretty simple my book of shadows is not beautiful like other witches are <laughs> Um, <clears throat> I have a little offering platter here. I use this fan. So if you watched my spiritually programming and charging video, I actually use my breath to spiritually program things. So if I have a bigger object that I can't use my breath, I feel like it's not like good enough. I'm not like getting the whole item or whatever. I actually use this fan to help me blow my breath around something that I'm trying to program. Um, so that that fan helps me got some essential oils a grinder thing I forget what it's called I have a singing bowl I have a raven skull that I printed I leave that here um, ravens of crows I definitely associate with guidance guidance intuition protection wisdom spiritual wisdom um, but yeah, that's my main altar. Oh, here is I have a witch's bottle, a spell bottle for protection. I need to redo it because I don't think I did a very good job. That was I made that a long time ago. Anyway, um, that's my actual altar. And moving right over here, you can see that I have a little day bed. And I use this day bed a lot for reading, um, doing my tarot study, meditation, yoga. Um, I'll insert a picture here, but lots of times I will like turn my altar the other way so that I can just sit on my day bed and do my altar practice from my bed. And like I said, I'll insert a picture so you can see. But, um, this has been amazing. Um, I actually put this here because we used to have another roommate at our house. Um, she moved out, left her bed, so I just <laughs> moved the bed out here and use it as my little workspace bed. Um, and moving right along, you can see I have my little bookshelf type deal going on over here. I'll move over to the other side actually. Don't pay attention to the tubs those are litter boxes <laughs> but anyway um, here's my little organized space um, oh I left my coffee mug there sorry um, but here's where I keep all of my tarot cards in my Oracle deck um, definitely want to add to that collection for sure it's not a very big collection yet but uh, yeah I keep all of my tarot here I keep um, like different spreads that I utilize sometimes that I printed out, keep that here. And this is basically just storage over here, honestly. Like I have extra candles. I have some more witches bottles down there that I could utilize for bottles, uh, spell bottles if I really wanted to. Um, let's see, I have some twine. I have, I got these jingle bells from the Dollar Tree and I really want to use them somehow. I feel like it's like the wrong time of the year though. <laughs> Maybe I could use it for like in bulk or um, Yule next year or this year technically. Um, but yeah, and here's some extra stuff too that I still need to spiritually cleanse and charge and all that program uh, before I put it on my altar. But there's some stuff that I really want to use. I just want to use this for gathering like herbs or flowers or things from nature that I'll use for spells. And then I got this really cool thing. I'm not really sure how I want to use it though. I almost want to use it for like programming things and spinning it clockwise. I think that would be cool. Or like cleansing and turning it counterclockwise. I think that would be really cool. 
And I also got this mirror for some mirror magic. I'm really interested in mirrors and doing mirror magic. I haven't really dabbled in it yet, but I really would like to start. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I have these two. This is my, oh, what do you want to call it? I haven't used it in so long. Um, it's like a magic charm box. It has a bunch of charms. And it's basically just another way of invocation, um, getting messages. I used to do it alongside with my tarot. Um, I need to start doing that again. Let me know if you guys have any like charm boxes that you use. But um, anyway, guys, that's it for my altar, altar space. If you turn over here, this is where I do like all of my tarot card readings. I do all of my editing here of my videos. I do, um, let's see, what else do I do? I mean, yeah, I, I record all of my videos here. This is like my spiritual work space, <laughs> right? So I keep all of my crystals here, which I don't think this is a very good idea. I don't really like how I keep my crystals right now, but I keep my selenite my selenite right next to it so that they're charging i don't know i i need to work on that like how i keep my crystals we'll see we'll see what i decide to do with that um here are my little animals i got my crow card here and i 3d printed this little jaw so that's cool um but yeah this is my workspace guys it's a little hairy i swear if you have animals you know like I literally sweep all day, every day, and I still get hair everywhere. It's like inevitable, but anyway. <laughs> um, anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed that today. Um, I wanted to head, go ahead and let you guys know also that on my Instagram, I do have an Instagram, Abby the Witch, just like it is here. On my Instagram, I am starting to 3D print things like that human jaw I just showed you that was holding up my crow card. I'm gonna start 3D printing things like that um, trinkets and other things that I think are really cool and I would pay for. Um, I'm going to start selling those. So if you guys are interested in anything like that, um, go follow me on my Instagram. I also do tarot card readings on my Instagram. If you're interested on that and that on my IGTV and yeah, I'm really excited to be doing that. <laughs> so anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little altar space and workspace tour. Let me know down below if you have an altar space or workspace, or if you don't, I'm very curious. Um, so anyway, guys, I hope you stay well, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.